They are members of the Engwan Women's Group. They meet every afternoon to work on various designs. They chat and laugh together as they sew beads on leather bracelets and wire ornaments. They carefully string the tiny colorful beads, mixing and blending the colors with visible skill. The recent drought killed about 90% of Maasai herds here in Kajiado. It also slowed down breeding as most animals succumbed to the food and water shortage. And climate change is making a bad situation here worse. <laughs> Traditionally, men tend and sell the cattle while women work almost exclusively on household chores. The women formed the group so as to find an alternative source of income. Many of the women have no formal education, but this budding industry has given them a new lease of life. For a majority of them, this is the first time they are earning an income for themselves and the venture is raising their status in their families and communities. The women of Engwan have to come up with new designs all the time to meet the demands of a growing clientele. The ornaments, necklaces, bracelets, earrings and dresses they make are traditionally in style and color with the feel of the Kenyan flag. Yeah, hallelujah. Emily says the project has helped improve things for her and her family of five. Apart from paying the bills, she's bought more dairy goats. With their basic needs met, the women have now set their eyes on saving for the future. A portion of each woman's profits is deposited in a joint account. From this account, each member can take a loan of up to 5,000 shillings at a go on a rotating basis. Tukiuza, tuna, tunaleta hizo mapato zetu, tunaeka pamoja, tunaeka kwanza kwa account, ili yendeleo kuangeseka. Ndiyo sasa ikiongeseka, ikiwa mingi, kasa ndipo, tuakuja kukaa, tugawane. Ani mama kona shida, tuna, tunaeza kutuwa, tunaenda kwa ke kwa, kwa mwizi moja, tunampatia. Kama ni mtoto wa shule alikuwa merudi, tunamrudisha, kumpatia hizo pesa, kwa hivyo si tuniona hiyo kazi imetufaidisha sana. Hata kwa boma imetulete juu sana. Eunice says the venture has raised her profile in the family since she can now contribute to the family budget. Husbands wetu wamejua wame realize kama kuna mahali umeenda labda anasema labda ni juu ya hiyo shughuli na hata anaona pesa zako pia wewe kuna una pesa au mtegemei tu sasa ni kama una symbolize kasi the women have also been trained on business and marketing management skills to enable them to market their products tunatarajia kwamba sehemu hii ambapo tunaita na retwi itakuja kuwa center ambapo kina mama tutakuwa na workshop yetu these women of Engwan are proud of their work. Once they were poor and lonely in status, now they are self-sufficient and can take better care of their families in ways that were previously impossible. The women are already working on plans to build a workshop, find new clients and also attract more members. Through beadwork, they have found a new way to improve on and market a traditional craft while at the same time use their skills to better their lives. Rose Wangoi, NTV, Kajiado.